Please storm. Can a mod put the chat in emote only mode for a hot second? And for a hot second, I mean it might be a minute or two, because we're gonna do one of their puzzles here on stream. So Possibility Storm does magic puzzles, and they post out new ones every week with varying, varying difficulties here. So I'm gonna pull this Possibility Storm puzzle up on screen here, and I'm gonna maximize it so it's as big as possible. All right, so this is, this is a new one. I've not seen this before. So we're gonna take a peek at what we have going on here. I'm gonna tag them on Twitter really quick. Look at that, they, they must be watching. They just, they just, uh, they just tweeted. All right, actually, this might be on their website, but I haven't seen this before. All right, so the opponent's life total. So the, the goal of these puzzles, if you haven't seen the Possibility Storm before, they give you this board state with your mana, the cards in hand, your opponent's board state, and then they tell you what their health total is, and you have to win the game this turn. So there's no, there's no extra turns. We have to win this, this turn. Let's maximize this. Perfect. Look at that. Close enough. Close enough. All right. Start at the beginning of our first main phase and win the puzzle this turn. One. So this is a loyalty counter. So Anagraph is at five. View this puzzle. See what they're playing. All right. So they've got a bunch of zombies from Josu. This thing has Mentor. This has Mentor in haste. This has Mentor. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap it against haste, okay. Each opponent loses life equal number of cards in their graveyard, so the ultimate doesn't matter on that. What else, what do we have going on here? So we've got six mana all together. Huh. So one of the things that I found challenging about these was a lot of there's a lot of distractors in this in that there's a lot of lines that get you close to winning the game, but don't quite get you all the way there. So Deafening Clarion for three damage looks like a really easy sweep. It gets rid of the zombies, but it also kills our board here. So that's not good enough. If I use the Deafening Clarion, I only have six mana here. So if I use the Deafening Clarion, I can't use any more of the cards in my hand. When Gara enters the battlefield, return to your hand all creature cards in your graveyard that were put there from anywhere this turn. Is there anything in play that gives me more mana? I don't think so. So they're at, they're at five conveniently. So if we deafen Clarion and then take control of this with this, that's the easy line, but it only gets them to one. So that's not good enough. And this, and this isn't even one of their most difficult puzzles. I'm, I might be, I might, I might have a case of the dumb here. So if I've, if I heroic reinforcements, we get two, two, they get one, one till end of turn. I feel like I'm missing something. Is there something that gives that gives me an extra mana here somewhere? I'm gonna work on this for, for like a minute and a half to two minutes, and then I'm gonna have chat give me hints. So this, they discard a card, lose two, gain control of target creature, untap it, it gains haste, sacrifice it at the beginning of the next sentence. So I assume we're gonna steal control of something here. None of these things involve trample though, right? Your other creatures have haste. The tough part is like, I have all these spells in my hand and I can't cast, I can't cast two of them, right? I must be missing, I'm missing something really key here. I feel like I need to get a little bit more ahead from somewhere, and there isn't anything on the board that gives me extra. Man, I do have a solution for this, by the way, too. So if I can't figure it out and y'all can't direct me, we have we have a cheat sheet. They just have infinite blockers. So this doesn't do anything. 
This can't have... This doesn't have haste, so it can't attack. Vraska's Contempt doesn't do anything. All right, there's 2,000 people out there. I'm, I think, I think I'm gonna tap out for the sake of not. We've been going for, I've been sitting here for like three or four minutes here. I think I'm gonna tap out and let someone in chat tell me, tell me what I'm missing. Read Aurelia. One target creature you control. That creature gets 2 0. If it's not red, it gains trample. So we could give something trample and make it big. So I can Aurelia plus pump this once. But none of these other things have trample. So if I take if I take this, oh this has menace. This has this has menace. So if we if we take this, oh you are really untargeted with anagraph. Is that good enough? But how do you you can't get the Aurelia minus anagraph? Pump, you can't, how do you get the fifth point of damage? All right, I'm gonna un-emote, emote only off. So chat's enabled. Yeah, she only swings for four. You play Aurelia, pump goblin, down tick, Anagrath gives Aurelia haste, mentor Aurelia, but you can't, yeah, mentor, mentor doesn't trigger. So like you can set up a mentor chain where she gives she gives this haste. Oh, and then you may Oh! Oh, okay. Wow, this is a really good one. All right, so here's the solution. I got it. I did I needed help. I needed a cheat sheet. And this isn't even their hardest one yet. These puzzles are really good. So you play Aurelia. You anagraph to give Aurelia haste. Then you use your other two mana to pump the Goblin Banneret. Then Aurelia targets Goblin Banneret to make Banneret be a 5-1. Then you attack with all four of them, stacking it so the three power Mentor resolves first, then the four power, then the five power. And that's two, three, four, five. That's a really good one. And the other, I looked at a couple of, so like when they approached me with the sponsorship, there were a couple other ones on their website too that I went through and like both times there were a lot of, there were a lot of like, there's a lot of little things going on, right? And there's like enough things in play that are distractors that really make you work through it. So if you wanna see, if you wanna see more puzzles like this, head over to possibilitystorm.com and check out all of their, all of their wonderful stuff. We're gonna do a couple more of their puzzles on stream later this month as well as they send me new ones to do. I think we're gonna do one a week or so. But yeah, that's really, so again, just to wrap up, the solution here again is you Aurelia, you cast Aurelia for four mana, you Anagrath to give Aurelia haste. Then at enter combat, Aurelia makes Goblin Banneret have five power or, or three power. Then you pay your last two mana to give Banneret up to five power. Then you attack with your two power Aurelia and your three, four, five power mentor creatures. Then Aurelia goes to three from Blade Instructor, goes to four from Sergeant, and goes to five from the Banneret. So two, three, four, five, and she's flying, so she wins in the air. Opponent, opponent said five. That's what this die represents over here. So that was sweet. That was neat. Good puzzle. Sweet. I, I wasn't sure if we were going to keep people through that, but that was a neat, it was a neat board. Yeah, make sure to stack your triggers correctly. You need to resolve Blade Instructor first, then Sergeant, then Banneret. But yeah, so again, possibilitystorm.com if you want to check out more of them. What's the, okay, where's their, where's their answer? That's true. I can pull up, pull up the GG. Let's make sure we're correct. Cast Aurelia. Activate Anagrass minus three. Targeting Aurelia to give her haste. Yep. Make it a 3-1, make it a 5-1, stack mentor triggers. Look at that, chat. I didn't do it, but the, the power of the internet together, we figured it out. 
All right, let's play some more magic, shall we? That was that was basically playing magic. That was a good time.